Togashi's Twitter has to be one of the most surprising and amusing things to have happened this year. The fact that Yoshihiro Togashi himself would create an account on this cesspool of a website that is Twitter and update the fans with meaningful and more or less consistent updates about the current progress of Hunter x Hunter is at the very least an incredibly surprising occurrence that I don't think anybody saw coming. The immediate impact and traction that this account got in its initial stages was such that fans were trying their best to figure out if this account was even real or not in the first place. This doubt existed because, well, parodies and fake accounts are quite a common thing on Twitter. I mean, come on, these guys are everywhere, Jesus Christ. It also didn't help that the birth of this account was something that pretty much spawned out of thin air. There was no announcement by Shueisha, Tagashi or anyone else for that matter didn't even really say anything before this account got attention, and even though the description in the bio did mention that the purpose of the account was to update people on the progress of the manuscripts, that still somewhat felt insufficient in terms of evidence. Therefore, a lot of people thought this account was fake, myself included. But no, this was the real thing, and the first person who assured us of this was funny enough Yusuke Murata, the acclaim artist for iShield21 and of course One Punch Man, who tweeted that the person behind this account was indeed the man, the myth, the legend himself, Yoshihiro Tagashi. Of course, upon being proven that this account was real, the hype around it got even bigger to the point that Tagashi received an extensive amount of followers and he sits at this time as the most followed mangaka on Twitter by a fair margin, having amassed more than 3 million followers. So yeah, pretty much in the span of a day, Tagashi himself created an official Twitter account without telling anyone, posted a picture of a tree, broke the internet and proceeded to not really elaborate any further. But hey, you might be wondering, why am I so happy about this? Well, first off, this happiness of mine comes from the fact that I'm a huge Hunter x Hunter fan. It's most likely my favorite series of all time, and I don't say that likely. It's a series that endlessly captivates me, and its impact lingers in my memory just as much as it did back when I watched it for the first time. Therefore, the creation of this Twitter account by Tagashi makes me as a fan extremely thrilled to be able to follow the updates that Tagashi himself sometimes posts online. The other reason is, well, the fact that Tagashi's Twitter account fixes one of my biggest problems with being a Hunter x Hunter fan, which is the constant silence and lack of communication from both Tagashi and Shonen Jump regarding the progress of the series. Now look, don't get me wrong, I fully agree with the idea that Tagashi doesn't owe us anything, he has already provided us with three amazing series and has given the fans and the industry a lot to admire. And besides, nobody should be forced to work on something if they decide that it's better to move on to something else or to simply rest. However, I believe that as long as Hunter x Hunter is not officially cancelled, it's understandable that the fans will feel a bit lost and adrift if no clarification is given to them after a long period of time. For example, I don't blame anyone for thinking that Hunter x Hunter wasn't coming back again. I mean, if you look at this chart, you can see that Hunter x Hunter was in hiatus for almost four years and there was basically no information given to the public about Hunter x Hunter's status during this entire time. This is a long period of time where we were completely in the dark about the future of this series, so it's understandable if some people lost hope. It would have been nice during this time period if Shueisha or Tagashi himself would have said anything to ease the hearts of the fans. But I also understand that Tagashi most likely didn't feel comfortable promising anything to the fans when it comes to the length of the breaks because things sometimes really never go the way that we anticipate them to go. But that's where Tagashi's Twitter comes in and why it's so helpful. It essentially removes the lack of communication and clarity that once plagued Hunter x Hunter. Now, Tagashi can say whatever he wants and the fans can paint a clearer picture of how much is left and how much they have to wait, regardless of how long it might be, making it less of a pain to wait and endure the eventual hiatuses that certainly are to come after the current serialization. I mean, come on, it, it's gonna happen. I feel that Tagashi did this because he himself felt the need to have a platform where he could easily inform the fans about the progress of the manuscripts and because it's easier to give context and clarifications whenever he feels the need to do so regarding the future of Hunter x Hunter without being tied to anything or anyone else. So without a doubt I view this initiative by Tagashi as a good omen for the future of the series and it's always nice to receive messages from the king himself. But not everything is a bed of roses. Tagashi has also updated us on his health situation and it seems that his back pain continues to affect him as we can see here in a letter written by Tagashi himself, where he is brutally honest about the difficulties that his body has been going through all these years now. 
This is unfortunately nothing new. Tagashi has been vocal in the past about his poor state of health, particularly his back pain that prevents him from sitting down for the necessary amount of time needed to work on his series. Therefore, either we like it or not, the slow pacing in which chapters are released will most likely continue to be a prevalent thing. However, to me, that's fine. I don't mind waiting. As a fan, I've waited this long so I can wait some more. Especially since I've been following this series since 2014, so uh, enduring the long hiatuses between the release of new chapters has more or less become part of my DNA at this point. If anything, I'm just happy that now we can actually have the red communication from Tagashi himself. It makes things simpler, and in a way, no matter how corny this might sound, I find the existence of Tagashi's Twitter account as a source of hope that one day we might actually see Hunter x Hunter get the ending it deserves. But even if it doesn't, even if Hunter x Hunter doesn't continue anymore, even if one day it gets cancelled, that still won't take away from the experience that this series has already brought us. So let's just see what the future brings us.